Hey guys, how's it going? Lunar here, and welcome back to another episode of my Dark Cloud Let's Play series on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we did quite a few floors of the shipwreck dungeon. We did, uh, I think, floors 9 through to 14. Um, so hopefully only a few floors left to complete before we get to the boss and finish this dungeon off. Um, we've got most of the town completed. Uh, besides, uh, besides, like a couple, like we still need three more, three more buildings, four more building things. But we've got quite a few people and stuff now, so hopefully, hopefully that should be done fairly soon as well. I mean, obviously, when we finish the dungeon, hopefully we should also be done with that. Otherwise, something would be wrong. Anyway, in this episode, let's go make our way to the dungeon. I think we're fully prepared and fully stocked up at the moment, so we can go do a couple floors, and um, yeah, hopefully get some more atla. Open them up and hopefully get. Yeah, get a few more bits that we can uh, put into our little town. So we'll go to this floor, we get six out there on this one, which is good. Alright, so let's start by going left. Might as well open this chest. Oh nice, we've already got the magical crystal, that's good. Kind of gives an indication of uh, which way probably want to be going. Oh, let's try and attack this guy as well. Hiding behind the pillar. Kind of a bit tough when trying to do these fights hiding behind the pillar, but I guess the semi works. Let's open up these other two chests. Oh, wow, we've got the map and the... Um, we've had the map and the magical crystal, which is really nice. So we kind of have a good idea of where we should probably be going. Let's start off by going... Oops. Let's start off by going down into here. We'll take out this monster. And I'll repair my weapon. And let's open up all the Atla. So at this stage of my current weapon as well, we only need, I think it's two more... Two more stats we need to get up before we can actually build it up to the next, like basically evolve it into the next sword. Um, and since I've already got things like attack and stuff maxed in it, I probably won't actually do any more level ups in the sword unless I've actually got the correct attachments for it because it's kind of pointless. So I just thought I'd mention that when us going along. So getting ABS on the, uh, I guess getting ABS on my sword is a little bit pointless. Probably should just level a second sword, but at the same time, that that would make uh, a lot of the fights a lot longer and a lot tougher. Okay, let's swap to um, Ruby. We'll swap to Ruby to quickly do this. And we'll shoot that. And then we'll swap straight back to Luna. And clear out the enemies. Three chests in here, probably going to be a mimic in one of the chests. It always seems to be when there's so many. Okay, nice, we've got the, uh, the cabin key. Ooh. I'm going to guess it's an explosion. Ooh, success. Ooh, but, okay, nice, nice. I've been trying to get a ring for Ruby, so let's swap to her. We did just get a platinum ring, like, near the end of the last episode. That's a uh, reward. Uh, oh, is that even worse? Wow. I'm kind of disappointed by that. What's it do? Oh, it steals. A little bit disappointed by that being a little bit worse, but it's not the end of the world. I guess she is kind of pretty strong still, even with a not so good weapon. Like, she doesn't seem to be very weapon dependent for her damage. Okay, premium water. I need to uh, probably heal up, actually. And I'm just going to drink a regular water as well. Eat some cheese. Okay, well, let's go to the right next, because we've got the key. Open up the Atla. 
Okay, we've got a lamp. It's not overly useful, but... Right, I guess it really doesn't matter what we get at this stage, because ultimately we're only trying to get the last few bits. There's only going to be a couple more floors worth, probably. Oh, my health is very low. I'm going to eat a premium chicken and get to full health. And it's a nice little treat for uh, for a character to eat. Probably getting tired of eating cheese after the amount of cheese I fed him. We got a snake. Wow. Someone obviously likes to have a snake in their house. Okay, so we still haven't got the hook, so I've got to go kill these three enemies before I go down. Oh, I hate, I hate these ones. They always get a hit on me. Or almost always. And I can see an attack coming from behind me, but I'm going to repair my weapon first. Yeah, we've got the hook. Let's go grab the Atla now. I'm not going to bother killing the uh, the enemy, because as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I don't need the uh, levelling up of the weapon at the moment, because I haven't actually got the attachments to level the stats I want. Okay, let's go to the next floor. So we'll use a hook, and we'll go up, and we've got plenty of supplies, we can go straight to the next floor. Ouch, I'm going to need to eat some cheese. this cannon out quickly. Oh, we already had the hook. That's nice, I can probably skip all fights then. Oh, premium chicken. And a flapping fish. Oh, let's go into the back room then. Back floor, seeing as we've got the flapping fish. And we've got plenty of supplies, might as well. See if there's anything good we can get. I have no idea what the boss is like in this place either. I think it'd be good maybe if I could get a good ring for Ruby as well because she might be handy for fighting the boss. Okay, let's open this chest and it's a... Oh wait. I forgot these are, oh wait, there's a healing thing there. I was going to say, I forgot these are actually strong monsters because I'm now in the back room. So I'd probably want to avoid, probably want to completely avoid fighting actually and just grab all the items. Since I don't care for the uh, level ups on the weapon. So let's just do like a super quick chest run. every single chest is a mimic then it's not going to be very useful oh nice a garnet those those are the kinds of things we want i don't know if garnet specifically is good let's have a look like i said i need beast and air so let's have a look at garnet what does garnet do oh yeah garnet does beast so that should be my beast and so i then just need to get um anti-sky But yeah, the Garnet giving 10 in two different types of uh, 
versus enemy power-ups is kind of nuts. There's so many chests in this room. Right, come on, Topaz, is that any good? Where'd it go? There it is. That is also anti scar Oh, wow. Oh, now I do want to level up my weapon kind of soon. Uh, give me an anti-sky thing as well and I think I'm sorted. Oops, because I think I need to get 35 in all the uh, versus things. I could be wrong about that. Oh wow, all of these mimics. We ain't fighting any of them. We're off. Oh, might as well have a little splash. I hope this thing's not bad. Please don't be bad. Oh, it just gave me stamina. Doesn't really benefit me. Okay, let's open this chest. Kinda want another topaz. I can check if the amethyst boosts versus sky, but I, I highly doubt it. I'll imagine uh, I'll imagine you kind of have one stone does two different ones, but they don't like overlap at all. So that was dragon and anti mage. So I'm gonna need either a topaz or a versus sky buff. And I think I just got a versus sky buff. In all seriousness, I couldn't really get any more lucky, I don't think. This back floor is probably complete. Oh, should I just kill the Mimic? And I can maybe build up my weapon. Okay, so weapon. So in theory, let's upgrade it. And then in theory, I should be able to build it up. Yes, I can, to a lamb sword. Yes, we'll do that. Boom. Even stronger. Okay, so... It has all the exact same stats it had before, but it's now got new caps on a lot of the different bits. So I'm going to put the... I guess I'll put the amethyst on it to start with. I can only attach two things on this thing, that's kind of a shame. Um, I, sh I should check what I need to build up. So I need more attack endurance and MP, but I'll get some of that just from levelling, hopefully. Maybe I'll level up like a second weapon and actually synthesise it on to get those. I need a lot of these extra attributes. Fire, ice, thunder and wind. And it looks like I also need a lot of all the other small things, so... Let's go customize. I think we'll just stick with everyone for now, basically. Let's get a bit of leveling and everything. But that's cool. Okay, so we've upgraded our weapon to being better now. Although it won't, it won't be like any better currently. But the fact that this now level zero and can go much higher in all the stats, that's kind of what will make it better in the long run. Once I get a few level ups on it, and I've attached a few things to it to be absorbed. Alright, well, let's, um... Oh, yeah, I've got enemies respawn. Wait, Lamb Sword felt danger and put itself into wolf mode. What is that? I mean, it does more damage now. Let me just, um... <clears throat> let's repair it. Okay, so it seems to almost have like a um, a side effect where it becomes a more powerful sword if it gets low in health. Maybe, or... 
I'm, I'm, wait, do I have the uh, hook? Yes, I've got the hook. I'm not going to waste my time fighting this enemy. I'm going to also eat some cheese just in case. I will take out this enemy though. I know it's the same enemy, basically, but uh, this one was in the way. The other one was the other one was back the way I'd already come from. So okay, let's grab the Atla. Hat-shaped roof. And I'm also gonna go grab this chest. And a bomb. Let's just uh, evade some of these fights. Maybe I'll take out this plant. Got some tasty water. Uh, we need to swap to Ruby to open the door. Swap all the way back to Luna. We just run past these things. Grab the chest. No, it's okay. Now I know where all the Atla and stuff is at. There's actually quite a few Atla. Probably, I think this must be the last floor before the boss. Got a sign. So what we'll probably do is get all the outlaw on this floor and then go back to town, rebuild everything, do all the events and stuff and then take on the boss. Oh, let's open up this chest. Might be the map. No, it's a key. Oh, okay. And the map is going to be in the, uh, the final chest on the map. Okay, we'll stick with running. Okay, let's kill this enemy. Okay, and we need to use the key we just picked up. And I'll grab this because it will show me the map. And then I'll dip in the water. So I actually went completely the wrong way to get to the other stuff. I need to go all the way back. Oh, feather disappeared. Let's equip another feather. I'm actually missing um, a protect from something as well. So usually my bar have a protect from I think it was Curse I had most recently, an anti-Curse amulet, so now that that's gone, I might start getting cursed a bit more again. Okay, so what do we have in this Atla? We have a second floor. Probably has to be a building or something, surely. Just road. Hmm. Maybe there is another floor before the boss. Maybe there isn't. I guess if I go back to town, I'll know fairly quickly. So let's uh, let's go back to town quickly. We'll go into here, use item, hook. And yeah, let's leave dungeon temporarily. I'll do a quick restock as well whilst we're here, might as well. Okay, we will sell the bomb. Might as well sell the water. Sell the throbbing cherry, sell the rotten fish. Other than that, I think we're probably okay. 
So let's buy some repair. Cheese, a feather, an extra repair and an extra cheese. And head out and go to the uh, go to the town. Okay, so back to Queens. And then just need to go into building mode. So let's see, what do we have? So we still have a couple of empty spaces, so maybe I haven't got everything. We'll put down the cathedral. I'm going to make use of some other space, I guess. Well, I've got tons of space up here, don't I? So we'll put this down as well. Okay, slot character, if you need some info, ask her. Oh, obviously not going to be that guy, what am I doing? Um, hmm. There has to be another floor then. Who would go in the cathedral? It's probably going to be this guy. Or this person. Okay, we can go do the cathedral stuff. Uh, I'll quickly go grab the chests. Oh, there's also chests over at the other shop as well. Might as well grab this. Oh, it's a gourd. Nice. In which case, we'll go use that on a character. Let's use that on Chow. Oh, I see another chest. Another mage slayer. Oh, there's lots of chests around, aren't there? I just want to go in the building and find out what the last thing I need to build is. We'll use that gourd as well. Um, let's use it on Luneth. It looks like we're getting probably close to max on Luneth. Maybe like one or two more. And since I mostly run around as him. Holy gem. And a holy, it makes sense getting these items in a cathedral. And a pocket. Now what's a pocket? Allows carrying of more items. Oh nice. I'll take that for sure. Oh, well it seems you, it seems that you have an important mission, I can tell. My name is Phil, I'm a servant of God and the keeper of the cathedral. If there is anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. What do you need for your cathedral? I really need the emblem, the symbol of the cathedral. It has to be placed on the wall of the entrance hall. Okay, is there anything up here? Holy water. Again, makes sense finding that in a cathedral. I'll check there's like nothing hidden behind these pillars. I don't know what I've been, but I was just mashing X and didn't come across anything, so I assume not. Okay, well, that's his symbol. Go back inside. Oh, you are Luna. I have been waiting for you. Thanks to you, this legendary cathedral is back to the way it was back in the days of old. Thank you very much. This is a little something to show my appreciation. If I can be of any help, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, we acquired another holy. By the way, Luna, have you heard the story of the curse of this cathedral? For a hundred years, we didn't have any weddings in this cathedral. In Queens, nobody wants to have a wedding here. It is because any couples who had their wedding here always end up separating. 
That is the cursed castle over the cathedral. This is a story my grandfather told me. 100 years ago, this town was a kingdom ruled by a queen called Las... Lasaya? Lasia? Lasaya. Lasaya was only 18 when she ascended to the throne. The people all trusted her and revered her as a great, great ruler. This is to say nothing of her beauty which words could not describe. The radiance of her smile made all around her happy. Then, one day, she fell in love with a young man in town. The queen and a commoner. It was only after the town was asleep in the night that they could meet. The two hid their love from the world for a long time. Finally, they decided to ha have a wedding ceremony. Yes, in this very church. Deep in the night, when all were asleep. But on that night, the groom did not appear, as, he, as was promised. Dressed in white, she continued to wait, believing he'd come. Night after night, she continued to wait, but her love never came. The loss of her one love was too much to bear, and one night, she threw herself in the ocean. That's when the curse began. Since then, all couples that married at this church eventually end up leaving, ended up leaving each other. What do you think? Isn't it sad? Now nobody even visits this, ca this cathedral, but I'll keep protecting the cathedral. Someday this curse will be lifted and many loving couples will swear their eternal love here. Until that day. Now, Mr. Luneth, please excuse me today. If you are interested in queens, why don't you visit the Divining House? Okay, let's make our way back outside. I think we're going to have to go back in the dungeon. There's got to be one more floor, surely. But there can't be anything much more than one more floor, because we're missing, what, two items on that, and then we're missing kind of like two building things. Uh, we've got that as well for the Leaning Tower. I guess we can go over there quickly and grab the items, or grab any chests around it. Must be something. Yep. Whoa, four chests all next to each other. Wow, that was nice. Let's use the uh, Fruit of Eden on Luneth. Okay, so let's go back to the dungeon. I think we'll do one floor and then come back here and hopefully it should be enough. Yeah, okay, six out of love on this floor. That, that's got to be the rest, surely. It's got to be. Alright, let's go this way first. I guess we're going to have to kill everything. Because we haven't got a hook yet. Oh, I've been frozen. Let's, um... Not do that, let's eat a cheese. I guess I'll try and wait out the freeze. Okay, this is not a pleasant fight. I'm going to actually swap to Chow. She can swap these two for me. Oh, nice, a weapon leveled as well. Make sure I've got stuff on it. Probably don't want to consume too many of these kinds of things, though, because I know I can consume a holy. I know I don't need those at the moment. I could probably also just throw... Um, yeah, let's just throw a couple of holy on. Uh, no, one holy, one ice. We've got so many ice, it's insane. Do the upgrade. Right, now let's take out this thing. Ow. Didn't think he'd hit me if I uh, kept moving a bit, but obviously he didn't move quick enough between attacks. Okay, let's swap back to Lunath now. Start opening up this chest and all the outla. Okay, now nice, we've got a key. Okay, 
So we've got an urn. I'm kind of looking for us to get two buildings. If we get two buildings, I'm quite confident this is the last door. Very confident, but getting two buildings will kind of be a necessity to fill those last two slots. So we've got Susie's store, so that's one building. Still got three Atla to collect on this floor as well. Okay, Lamb Sword turned into Wolf Sword. Means I need to repair it. And I'm also going to quickly swap to Chow just to heal her up in this puddle. And I might as well kill these enemies as Chow. Or I might as well swap. Because they're just going to block them. Not allow me to hurt them. Okay, can we go this way yet? Yes, we can. We just need to swap to uh, Goro. And then we'll swap back to Luna. And then we'll swap to Chow. Didn't see the obstacle until, uh, until after I'd already swapped. So I'm just going to rush my way through here. Do have to swap to Luna to kill these ones again. Oh, I missed every attack. Let's try again. What's being shot at by this other one? And my weapon's ready for an upgrade, so let's customise it. I have two things on it that I want on it, don't I? So let's just uh, upgrade. And then I need to put some more things on it. What do I need? It needs... Actually, I should go check. Build up. I need wind, thunder, ice, fire. Okay, yeah, lots of stuff. I should probably do the ones that are lowest though in case I get like a good jewel. So I need mimic breakers and metal and fish basically. So we've got a sea killer there. And metal, that's fine. Okay, let's open up this chest. Sweet, we got the map. Gonna swap back to Chow so we can get over that gap again. And then we got a key, so we should be able to go right after we go back over here. Go right, and then we just go to the bottom left after the clear that final room and go to the exit. Allies, swap back to Luna. And we'll open this with a key. We also still need the hook, I think, so I need to make sure I kill everything just in case. Okay, we've got a push cart. Is that a building? That is probably a building. Probably. I see two big wooden chests. Okay, let's repair our weapon and then I'm going to open up both these chests. Not sure what I'm hoping for. Maybe like a really nice ring for Ruby. Another steel slingshot. That's okay. And a King Mimic. I actually have to kill the King Mimic as well. Because he could have... Possible he might have the hook. Not necessarily likely, but possible. And he didn't. At least we can heal on the way back. Now let's make our way down to the last room. 
We can clear out these guys, clear out the last room, then go back to the town, finish building everything. And then do the boss, which would be good. I think we're still looking for the hook, so we're going to have to kill the two enemies in here as well. Could also potentially be a mimic. Ouch. Stop firing. Let's just back him off into a uh, wall, shall we? Okay, so there has to be a mimic, I think. Unless I've already got the hook. Wouldn't surprise me if I've already got the hook. Okay, we've got Basker store. Okay, that's definitely a building. And yeah, yeah. And we get prickly. Anti freeze, which is probably kind of nice actually. Um, put that on over the uh, antidote one because we never get poison at the moment anyway. Okay, well, I think I must already have the hook. I'm gonna go, let's go back and heal at the pool thing quickly. Actually, no, nah, that's a bother. We're just gonna drink, drink a chicken, eat a chicken. I guess also repair the weapon. There's a music box. Um, maybe that's why I haven't found a hook yet. Interesting. Okay, so it seems so this might be the last floor. I'm a little confused. That might be the last floor, but to get the item I need, I might need to go back and finish building the town. So we might have to redo that floor, but there won't be any atlas, so I can just run to the music box. The music box might be in a different location, but I can still just run around and find it. We can skip everything, I think. I think, I mean... I'm just assuming at this point. Okay, 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 okay. Let's um let's just dump this road down. Is there anywhere I can just dump a bunch of road? I mean I don't think I need to do that, but I might as well. So put this building here. I guess we can make it at least face the logical direction. And we'll put CD store in here. Let's uh, try and fill these up now with people and stuff. Okay, I'm going to go talk to uh, Susie first. Um, I think I say, how do you do? My name is Susie. Pleased to meet you. I sell water, so I need a lot of cakes and urns. Oh, I'm sorry. You already knew that. Oh, it's premium water. And sea killer. Okay, so I was going to wait, go back to building. And we'll finish off Susie's place with the urn and keg. Now we get an event. If I can find her. Oh, and we also get some more tasty water.
Welcome. How can I help you today? Today is my grand opening. I have a wide variety of water. Welcome to the store. Luneth, you seem to be travelling a lot. I'm sure you need lots of water. You'll always find something refreshing at Susie's. I was just wondering, can I ask you something? The name Susie's isn't quite right, is it? I've been thinking about it for a while. Uh, no, not quite right. Well, I offended her. I disagree with her. Oh, I thought you'd say that. Then, what kind of names are good? Uh, none of these ones, but I'll, we'll go with Magical Watery. Magical Watery. Sounds neat. I'll go with that. Thank you very much. Thanks for helping. Let me give you something. Premium water. Please come visit my magical watery again. I mean... I can normally buy water from any shop, unfortunately, Susie, so... But I'd definitely take that gourd. Let's see if we can max out Lunas. Oh, I think I'm maxed. So, next character we'll work on will be Chow. Alright, let's go back to the building. Let's do the uh, Divining House next. Okay. Oh, lots and lots and lots of chests. Another gourd. Wow. Might as well use it to make a bit more bag space. Oops. I think we need one more then to max out chows first and then uh, on to the next one, I guess. Oh boy, you have a bad omen about you. Be careful. I'm Yaya. I'm the town fortune teller. Hee <laughs> hee. Good to meet you. My trademark is the snake. That's most important. The snake. If you forget it, if you forget it, my fortune telling will only be half as accurate. Okay, well we definitely have got a snake, because I did wonder who would want to have a snake. Turns out she does. There you go. Let's drop down and give her the snake. Give her the snake. Do the event. Oh, it's you. Look at this. My divining house has been completely restored. And I owe it all to you, young man. I'll tell you your fortune for free of charge. Come visit me anytime. Okay. What's my fortune? Oh, you're back. And what part of your fortune do you want me to tell? Oh, I did that a little bit quick, but I think it said, where is the moon orb? Well, let us begin. Are you ready? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Pumpkin panty fortune telling, here we go. I'm sure that's not legal. All right. <laughs> I don't think we should have asked to have a fortune told by her. Oh, that's a little bit disturbing. Oh, that's a fruit merchant. Looking strange, yet some kind of a ball. Hmm, carrying it away somewhere. Oops, that's it. There, that's it. Should we ask for another fortune? Uh, where's the dark genie now? Where's the man the queen loved? Let's ask it. Not looking forward to this. Take a deep breath.
Pumpkin Panty Fortune Telling. Here we go. Hmm, I've seen this before. Ah, that's right, it's Rando store. It wasn't Rando who eloped with the Queen, was it? No, that's impossible, it was a hundred years ago. He couldn't be that old. Something's glowing, what is it? Ah, uh, should we ask about the Dark Genie as well? I guess we should. And then we probably have to go, what was it? It was a fruit merchant, it was a book in Rando store, and well, I guess we'll find out whatever this is as well, if we need to go follow up with anything. Pumpkin Panty Fortune Telling, here we go. Ah, there it is. This is some castle, like some kind of giant haunted house. Is this what they call Dark Genie? He's pretty arrogant. Oh, who's this? Look up, looks like he's saying something. Oh, what a huge yawn. Oh, he got up. The guy is talking, pl planning to destroy another town. Ah, that's all. Okay. Well, that didn't really give us too much extra information. Except that Dark Genie's still just chilling in a castle and destroying towns. So let's finish the building stuff, f building stuff first, and then we'll try and do follow-ups on those uh, bits of information we learnt. Okay, so let's go inside. Gonna grab this chest first. Another gourd. Wow, okay, so I think. I think Chow's now also maxed on on the uh, on the first meter. Some premium chicken. Anti-freeze amulet. Okay, that seems to be everything. You're not from around here, but it's okay. I don't like snooping around, though. I'm Baska, I'm a trailer. Good to meet you. Well, you're already here. Try to enjoy Queens as much as possible. Let's see what he wants. My store had a second floor. I really need it back. That's fine. I've got a second floor. It's all I've got left. So that kind of works out perfectly. Let's drop back down. Go in and do the event. Hi Lunith, thanks to you my store's back. Right now I don't have anything in the store to sell. I mostly do trading. I sell goods I purchase from other countries to merchants here in Queens. I'm really sorry I can't be of any help to you. By the way Lunith, I heard you're, you've been travelling a lot. Do you have any plants from which I can make herbal medicine? In the islands off the west, health related goods are very popular. Various herbs are really popular now. Anything that can be a base for herbal medicine sells really well. If you have anything of that sort, I'll gladly trade you something for it. I think we do, yeah. Uh, did you find anything that could be used for it? Yeah, let's press square. So where is it? We've been holding onto it for a long time. Uh, this one, the ointment leaf. Oh boy, this is the ointment leaf. Luna, this is amazing. It's the first time I've ever seen the real thing. With this leaf, you, with this, with this leaf, you can make... A cure-all medicine, good for any illness. Do you want to trade this with me? Thanks, I'll give you something great in return. J 
Just a minute. Okay, so what's he going to give us? Please take this. A foundation. This is a new product just released in Ran Rando City. A magical powder that makes women beautiful when they put it on. Give it to your girlfriend, she'll love it. Interesting. Very interesting. Gonna have a look at what he actually says in the text of the item. Okay, applying it to a face makes you pretty. Okay, we've got a nice. I'm gonna go and follow up on the uh, other two fortunes. Right now. So let's head. I think one was at the fruit store. Was it the fruit store? Hey, that's a fish store. Is this a fruit store? What? A moon orb? What's that? I've never heard of it. Aha! That pretty sphere thing makes up in all that fruit. Let's see now. I wonder what I did with it. I think I gave it away to someone who asked for it at the market. I don't remember I don't remember who I gave it to, sorry. I've been forgetful lately. Sorry about that. Okay, well that unfortunately doesn't help us very much. Let's um trying to drop off down there but it's not letting me. I was gonna say let's head back to the uh, to the port. We can go to Rando's store in order to uh, read that book or find whatever the item was to do with the um, the guy who fell in love with the princess. Alright, I see the sparkling bit. Oh, okay, it wasn't the book, it is next to the book. Is it like a ring or something, maybe? What are you going to do? Well, maybe it's part for the music box. Going to put this paper in this music box, then lock it up. Then lock it. This box is our promise to each other. You keep the music box and I keep the key. It takes both of us to open this music box, and without us both... We can't read the message inside. What did you write? Ah, that's a secret. When we finally join us one forever, that's when we'll open this once again. Okay, so we've got the music box key. That seems like very good progress in terms of what we kind of need to do. So, we're going to go back to that floor, floor 17, I think it was. Let's go back to floor 17 on the shipwreck. Let's see if we can, uh, we can just rush around and try and find the music box. Okay, so let's just run this way to start with. I'm going to skip all monsters because I don't think I have to fight anything. I'll open a chest, because why not? Oh nice, it's a map. Oh, th that shows me where the exit is, and it's really not far to go. In fact, had I just gone left initially, I would have got there very quickly. Okay, so let's try this then. We've got the key for the music box. Let's put it in. Sire, I wonder how many years 
later that you'll be reading this. The opening of this music box signifies us overcoming our different status in society and joining as one. But I know that we would never be blessed by all to be together. But still, the two of us from the future have decided the place will probably be a church at night, just the two of us. There would never be anyone blessing your future with a man of such low status. It is I from the past. I send these heartfelt words to you. Congratulations, Your Majesty. I've been waiting for you a long time. Here, at the bottom of the ocean. Alright, I have no idea what we have to do for this fight. Alright, long black screen, but... Okay, so I think... I'm going to back off. Okay, let's run at her, and we attack her, I think. Not like that. Okay, nice. I've got a hit on her there. I'm going to eat some cheese now quickly. I think I need to now swap to Ruby. And I want to make sure I am set to fire. Yeah, I definitely am set to fire. That's good. Okay, so swap back to Luna to destroy the shield. Got caught in a tornado there. Eat some more cheese. Uh, that's not really fair. I was still getting up from the previous hit. Okay, we'll eat some more cheese. Okay. Oh man. She's too good for me. I'm going to need to heal again. Yeah, I'm going to switch to uh, Ruby. And then switch straight back to Luna. Still a bit further. Oh, I've got a cornered, I think. Then we'll switch back to Ruby. Then we'll switch back to Luna. Oh, I think once I've got a corner, this doesn't become too bad. Oh. Wait, is she still... She's still got no shield. Okay, I wish I need to go back to Ruby again, don't I? Allies, Ruby. I'm about to get hit by that. I now swap back to Luna. And then back to Ruby. And that also give her some cheese. Still frozen though from the last attack. I could probably go back to Luna and hit her now. Yep. And then back to Ruby. <coughs> and then back to Luna. She's shooting a nice attack, so I need to avoid that. Needed to avoid it, didn't avoid it. 
Well, I, I guess I didn't need to avoid it. I have got uh, plenty of cheese still. Oh. Ah, uh, come on. Let's get it back into a corner, shall we? Oh, let's get killed by the tornado. <laughs> Alright, let's stand in. Let's um, swap in Goro. I wonder if Goro can... Oh, I hit him for 400... I swear. I hit her for 400 damage, not him. Oh, can I just keep... Okay, back to Goro then. Let's see if we get another... Nice smack on her. Okay, Goro's down as well. Sorry but surely letting my entire party get wiped out. How much health does she have though? I'm going to try reviving... Uh, let's eat cheese and ruby. I can't afford to have her go down as well. I've got no more standing powder. Let's revive Luneth and let's also feed him a piece of cheese. I think I need to swap actually back to Luneth. Now I need to go back to Ruby. This, this um, boss has quite a lot of health. I need to eat again on Ruby. Am I down to my last bit of cheese? No, I still got two more bits. Wait, let me just make sure I definitely... Okay, now I need to switch back to Luna. She's still not down. Come on. There we go. That fight was... Um, yeah, tougher than I thought it would be. Ah, ah. My, my bitterness lives on. <gasps> I've always wanted. I wish I was able to return to that day. Sorry, I think I'm a bit late. I immediately, immediately realized it after you were gone. Eternal life, it was meaningless for me. I was waiting all along. I was certain. I thought surely you would come. But you did not come. As time passed by, my heart became cold. I've been kept alive for 100 years by that sphere now. But living without you was like a world with time stopped. I felt as if I was left all alone in the desert. I was never bitter towards you. I just wanted to see you. Just one more time. Sire, I know you won't forgive me now, but please believe me when I say I've always... Say no more. I know it's alright. You're here now, aren't you? Sire. I'm sorry, Luneth. Here, this is for you. We got the moon orb. You were looking for it. A fruit vendor found it and gave it to me. I never needed it, but I kept quiet to lead you here. I suppose I ended up using you. I'm sorry. I needed you to win back Sire's heart. It's time for goodbyes. Thank you, Luneth. Ready, Sire? This will end it all. The end of a long, empty time. Let's go back together. Back to that day.
Okay, well we've got the moon orb and it appears to all be over. Go to other area, so we can probably go back to Bamboo Village, but I think we just um, finish that dungeon. I think now might be a good time to actually save the game. So I'm going to save it over files one and two. So yeah, save the game and then I'll probably end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. So see ya.